Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I hunger and thirst for you. In a dry and weary land I hunger and thirst for you In a dry and weary land I hunger and thirst for you In a dry and weary land Oh is you I'm determined to pay any price it will take to be used by God any price I don't care what it is I love you I can never ever do without you Lord I love you I can never ever do without you I love you Lord I love you Lord I can never ever do without you How I love to live for you And how I love to stand for you and even though it hurts me for every step I take and even though it pains me for every move I make but I love you Lord I can never ever do without you I love you I can never ever do without you I love you Lord I truly love you Lord I can never ever do without you for there's an army rising up I'm part of this army rising up I know there's an army rising up I'm convinced there's an army Mike please strings please strings rising up there's an army hey, hey, hey. We are rising up There's an army Rising up hey, There's an army Unshakable army An army of power There's an army He's rising up Say na 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 
There's an army rising up across territories, across nations. There's an army rising up. And they will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. That's the assignment to break every chain. Hallelujah. This is why we do the things that we do. There is truly an army. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army they are rising up they will break every chain break every chain break every chain break every chain hallelujah listen there is an emergence of spiritual men Please listen to me. There is an apostolic emergence of spiritual men. Not just men who are spiritual. Spiritual men. A man can do spiritual things. It doesn't make him a spiritual man. There are women who are rising. Deborahs. A prophetic generation. Women with the eyes of an eagle. Women with ears that can hear every sound. There are men of influence that God is raising. You may look ordinary right now. Because there's no money or there's no anointing. You wait until the Holy Ghost is done with you. This is not about English. This is not about those who can speak. No! There will be a demonstration and enforcing of the kingdom. Men who know no limits like Daniel and Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They will walk through fire and nothing will happen to them. They have mastered the mysteries of the kingdom. The things that scare men no longer scare them. They understand the principles that create the effect in this realm. These are the kinds of people that God is raising. Not just men that can pray. Not just men who can just talk. No. Men of understanding. The sons of Issachar. Men who can look to the sky. And understand what the language of the spirit is. There's an army. Rising up. There's an army rising now. There's an army. They are rising up to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Dominion is an enforcing of kingdom authority. And I was sharing with the leaders. I sense that very soon the power of God is just going to start breaking out in this place. I've just been flowing as the Holy Spirit is leading me. I'm going to teach and will pray and will worship, sing, teach and worship. Let's just flow with what God is doing. Hallelujah. Dominion. Listen, listen, listen. Dominion is not guesswork. Dominion is not an impartation. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There's no such thing as I impart upon you dominion. Dominion is the natural consequence of holding the keys of the kingdom. That's what the Bible calls the keys of David. Dominion. The Bible says, and it has been 
given unto you that you will know the mysteries of the kingdom. God shrouds himself with mysteries. And the more you begin to press into God, you have to keep unlocking mystery after mystery. The mystery of creation. The mystery of the power of God. The mystery of wisdom. The mystery of the word of God. The more you catch this mystery, something happens to you here and now in your mortal physical body that translates you. That's why the Bible says, for one star different from another in glory. Not in shape, so you may be ordinary, but on the strength of the mysteries that you know, you can make proclamations in the realm of the spirit. Kabalande karai. It's not trial and error. It's a realm. If you are not there, you are not there. There's no guessing. Um, you can wear suit and fake it. If you are not there, you are not there. You function only from the strength of that realm. And I will give you the mystery. It is on the strength of this mystery that you can tell one go and he will go and tell another come and he will come brothers and sisters that is dominion there is something you can know that can make you face any witch in your family and say forget it you threatened people yesterday but right now I speak to you there is something you can know that activates the anointing in your life and you become a living wonder heaven has been seen part of the mysteries of the kingdom is that the moment you strike that chord heaven answers this is what you are seeing there is there is no magic about it and it's not something that happens today and then tomorrow it cannot happen it's not an effect it's a realm of existence you can come there This is what by the grace of God we seek to bring everyone because it's not a thing about a man of God are you hearing what I'm saying the realm where his voice is no longer strange and then the accuracy of your life begins to astonish men circumspectly the realm where you walk through limitations as if they do not exist because you are operating from the vistas of another kingdom. You see another reality. Greater. So when men say limitation, you say, where is it? I cannot see. It. Because as far as I see, I see that my, my, my eyes have become attuned to the word of God. And it's on the strength of that revelation you can speak. When men say there is a casting down, you tell them, it's only my body that is here. But I'm operating from a realm. And according to the mysteries of the kingdom. When I speak from that realm. I enforce the realities of that realm. To be present here and now. There is a mystery of the anointing. Very few people understand the anointing. Let me tell the truth. Many people have impartations. They can lay hands. People can fall in the meeting. But see, you can interact with the anointing. He said an anointing can teach you. Spiritual things have personalities, including the anointing. You can come into oneness with the anointing and you understand its operation. This is not about apostle. This is not about prophet. This is about ascending to the hill of the Lord. And you will stand in his holy place. There's an army rising up because some of you will be the, not everybody but there's an army they are rising up forget about the limitations of today there's an army rising up and they will break every chain 
break every chain. Hallelujah. Can I have seven people, please? Just any seven people. Just, just come and stand here. I want to show you something. Just, just stand here. See. Want to just squeeze yourself so you can stand. One, two, three, four, five, six. The Bible says, listen. From the book of Revelation, it gives us an idea. Is that the best? Is that all the volume? Don't be afraid. Go ahead and just. It tells us that there are seals and there are scrolls in heaven. Are you following me now? In ancient times, the mysteries of a kingdom were written by people who were gifted in literature and it was folded in scrolls and it was tied with seven seals seven being the number of perfection are you getting me and there were certain people who qualified and every time there was need to open it they will unlock the seals unlock the seals the seven seals the moment they open the seven seal the scroll is open and they begin to read not everyone is permitted to see what is written there are you getting my point do, do you understand what i'm saying <sighs> no matter how much you press into god listen to me there are certain things you will never find on your own are you hearing what i'm saying no matter how you press into the things of god there are some dimensions that are not given to just find like that let me show you something second corinthians 4 can we project that if we can have it um preferably okay first corinthians i'm sorry four verse one in amplified if we can have it in amplified everybody read it amplified if we can get it dominion 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 standing on the mysteries of the kingdom are we ready please let's read one to read can we have it amplified no amplified all right read one to read stop and what of what what did he call them who is a steward answer me who is a steward a steward is what you trust a man with something a job to do or to hold something for you is that true the bible says that there are certain people it's not because of their fasting or prayer it's an election of grace by the predeterminate counsel of god they have been made stewards of the mysteries of god please listen to me and kick away this junk in the body of christ many people dishonor everybody you see because you just look and say forget it is is it are they worshiping a man there is a difference between human worship and honor are you hearing my point there are men here and now in this earth realm who are custodians of the mysteries of god are you getting my point when you recognize them and open up yourself to the influence of the revelations that has been given to them you will step the goal is not for the men to stand and brag the, the whole body is supposed to come into that revelation but that the dispensing of it cannot be by everybody are you getting what i'm saying so because of this god grants them unusual encounters unusual light unusual illumination and every time the devil wants to destroy your destiny the first thing he does is he discredits the anointing that is supposed to take you to the next level are you getting what i'm saying 
That's why we have all kinds of people talking against pastors, talking against men of God, talking against every, you know, all kinds of things. There are people who are experts. They come and analyze men of God, sit in their homes and just castigate every and everybody. Including pastors. We sit down and we are just talking. Can I tell you something? There are stewards of the mysteries of God. Never forget this. And let me tell you, you will never receive from a man until there is genuine honor to God, to his office, and to the anointing. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is a powerful revelation. It says, let a man so account of us. This is Paul speaking. Let's look at Ephesians 3. Please, quickly, Ephesians 3. And so, the job of these apostles and these prophets and these people, their assignment is to unlock these seals. Open them up. What is the law that governs the miraculous? Why is it still a mystery in the body of Christ? It should be a mystery to unbelievers, not Christians. But why is it still a mystery? Because there are custodians who carry these mysteries but have not been appreciated. Why is wealth still a mystery in the body of Christ? Because there are custodians of that mystery. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It says in, in, in Isaiah 51, don't turn there. It says, look unto Abraham. Did he say look unto the patriarchs? He mentioned a particular person who was a custodian of the blessing. See, if you do not understand how the structure works of the kingdom works, you will be cheated. Hallelujah. Your dominion and my dominion is at the mercy of the mysteries of the kingdom that we truly can comprehend. And those mysteries are not just hidden in the Holy Ghost alone. They have been delivered here and now. Every, see, anointing does not leave the earth to heaven. Are you getting my point? No, go and read your Bible. Anointing does not leave earth to heaven. That means every manifestation of the spirit that we have seen from Bible days till today, the grace and access to that mystery is available in the earth realm here and now. Hidden in vessels of clay. And when those people are recognized and their ministries appreciated, you will enter dramatic levels hallelujah Ephesians verse 2 Paul says if ye have heard of the dispensation of what the grace of God which is given to me Paul said a grace was given what was the grace verse 3 how that by how that by by revelation he made known unto us unto who unto me the mystery paul was not the greatest of the apostles but he said for whatever reason i cannot explain but he called me and committed unto me a mystery and so you will hear paul again and again speak and say behold i show you a mystery Brothers and sisters, listen. Please do not let any man cheat you and rob you of your glorious destiny. The answer to your greatest prayer request is hidden in vessels of clay and is hidden in the mysteries of the kingdom. If you can have the eyes to see it, something happened. I'm sure some of the protocol people will be there. There's, there's a lady here who brought some people those of you who know plateau state from gindiri one of the local governments or just somewhere around the local government there some people came they wanted to make it for the miracle service but they could not make it for the miracle service they came the whole family and they came in for counseling they came with their father completely paralyzed hallelujah completely paralyzed the first thing that moved me was the fate of these people. This man had been a teacher for more than 35 years, so he's not an idiot. 
two of the children are doctors they are not fools and they left all the way they listened to just one koinonia message or a number of koinonia messages really and the man said they should take him and bring him to zaria can you imagine that a whole family entered their car and they drove when i saw them i opened my heart and i said lord what is the meaning of this and then back to first corinthians 4 please the lord began to let me know that look son i don't do these things because you are indispensable i don't do these things because you are one superman by grace i have committed to you certain dimensions of the mysteries of the kingdom there are many people listen i'll never forget one gentleman who came and met me one day he said man of god i've been watching you from a distance and i really appreciate you i have seen the grace of god in your life and 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 all of that and uh, i i just maybe once in a while uh, i'll just come and uh, we just maybe rub minds together i told him get out of this place you are a very irresponsible young man you don't know how to receive you are a foolish boy and and, and trust me i don't mean pride are you getting my point i don't mean pride when you understand that there are stewards even if see that steward can be your child your blood child are you getting my point you keep looking at him as a baby and die of what there is a grace upon his life to solve when that man got down the protocol people can testify and started walking he went and ate the miracle that happened right now they are preparing to come for the miracle service with so many other people and i'm just wondering and i say this from the depths of my heart i say oh lord how many people among this crowd are here crying of problems there are certain graces i don't have i'm not ashamed of it i will never try to venture into certain areas I can recommend stewards that have been trusted and proven. And you know here, I, we talk about men of God generously. I'm not one of those people that sit down and brag and believe I'm Alpha and Omega. There are men of God who have seen things. We recommend books, we recommend people. Are you getting my point now? You must create an attitude, that hunger for the mysteries of the kingdom. And when you find vessels that are custodians of this mystery, you must learn the art of reception. There are people today who castigate Archbishop Benson Idahosa. Is that true? He's there though, but there are people who still talk about him. Say he brought human worship to Nigeria, he brought all kinds of things. They, they forget the influence. That man went round the world 52 times. 52 times from nation to nation he demonstrated a level of dominion prophet bob jones before he went to be with the lord said one time during his encounter an angel appeared to him and the angel told him that the name of the angel is breakthrough and he said i am the one who worked with archbishop benson idahosa that's what the angel was telling him bob jones does not know idahosa yet a man walked with such a grace and was despised by people around are you hearing what i'm saying there are some of you right now certain mysteries have been given to you but you go home and everybody just looks at you business as usual is that true they know that the healing anointing is at work in your life it may not be there in full measure but they know every time you tell them dreams and you say i saw myself laying hands like joseph they laugh at you there are some of you entrepreneurial graces and people look at you say as broke as you are this 200 naira trouser you see let me tell you and i've taught it here i have a responsibility over us in christ to teach us never cultivate the attitude of dishonoring and disregarding a man of god if he's not perfect leave the imperfect part of him and get what you can get and move on are you hearing what i'm saying once you cultivate that attitude of eyeing this this is not my pastor this is not my papa this is not my prophet you see, the man of God will keep you only at the limit of the mystery that has been committed to him. But it takes more for you to walk in total dominion. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I just feel like taking away all of these things that some of us have put in our mind. If it's not my pastor's book, I'm not reading it. If it's not my pastor's prayer request, I'm not saying it. 
I, I have opened my heart lavishly and generously to the ministry of the body of Christ, especially in Nigeria. Let me tell you, in this country, we are gifted with mysteries. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are men and women of God working in this nation, Nigeria. Some of them are not on TV. Some of them are on TV. Some of them are just little gatherings like this our own here. Different custodians of mysteries. When you find the flow of what God is doing, plunge into it with all your heart. And you will find out that you will come out at the other end a living wonder. Something will happen. There are people here right now who come in from Kaduna every week. There are people who come in every time. I remember I was talking somewhere and I told the people, I said, I may not claim to know all the mysteries of revelation. There are few revelations here and there that God has committed to me. Hallelujah. There are certain things. Higher, but there are some things God gave. I know it. Are you getting what I'm saying? When Jesus appeared to me, I know that specific things were given. I limit myself to the ministry of that grace that was given. While appreciating and embracing that which comes from the body of Christ. If you're looking for excellence, we are doing our best, but we may not be the absolute model of excellence. When you're looking for be the teaching anointing we may not be the absolute model of it but let me tell you something i understand how to enter the presence of god oh yes i know that i can tell you this i can tell you this this is why the meeting was called koinonia i didn't choose the name it came from heaven it's a revelation there are some things that are given to people as an office when you recognize it hallelujah one of the few men that introduced the revelation of the presence of God in Nigeria is Pastor Chris. Many people just knew the power of God. They didn't know the presence of God. Hallelujah. There are certain people who have introduced wealth to the body of Christ. There are certain people who have introduced wisdom. There are certain people who have introduced leadership. We keep castigating them and dying of what their graces can build us. See, let me tell you, I'm teaching you this is the word from the Lord. I didn't plan to talk about this thing but God is speaking to you zip your mouth as far as talking about men of God is concerned hallelujah I used to talk a lot about men of God years ago until one elderly woman called me and she sat me down she said my son you are going very far what you see today you may see better tomorrow so it's better to keep your mouth from that day I repented and I vowed if you hear me talk about a man of God and call his name I'm saying something good many of us arrogantly move around talking about people talking about all kinds of things whereas they have the anointings and the grace that will help us and set us free are you hearing what I'm saying let me give you one example they are looking for Chibo girls is that true for how long have they been looking for them are they not true prophets in this country who day and night are revealing the accurate counsel of God? Let me give you an instance, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Are you following me? What is wrong with embracing the ministry to say, servant of God, we believe. We know what God has given to you. The kings in ancient times were not arrogant people. When there was trouble, they found the vessels. Hallelujah. Joshua Suleiman was saying something. He said one time, I listened to one of his teachings. And he said, he was watching, I think he was watching Pastor Chris or so. It was at a time when there were all kinds of persecutions and all of that for various reasons. And he said, he looked at him. He said, but no, come on, the presence of God. This is a man of God. This is a man of God. And I honor this man of God. He said he was in Abba. And he was going for a program that night. He said that night he saw physical cancers falling on the ground. He said when he went back to his hotel room, he said, oh Lord, what is this? Hallelujah. There are custodians of the anointings. There are men like Benihim who carry the visible manifestation. This is what took me to South Africa. I didn't go for tourism. I went desperate for an anointing. I saw that man, Kobus van Rensburg, single-handedly, he had raised more than 12,000 wheelchairs and crutches. I said, this cannot be pretense. They, they are in the church there. 
and I went, I said, I'm going, I will pay whatever price. When I got to South Africa, I was fasting. People were just smiling. There were a few Nigerians there opening their teeth and behaving like fools. I went and locked myself. I said, Lord, I came for business. I respect this custodian. Hallelujah. See, I was so hungry. I stayed in the, um, in the guest house of the chief usher of the church. And when it was time, I, I sat there. I think it was row two. I sat down there passionately and hungry. Before Kobu started anything, even before the pastor's conference started, he called me out by prophecy. And he looked at me and he said, I see you being like Paul. You will be a, a custodian of deep revelations of the kingdom. All through the pastor's conference, he laid hands on me again. And he taught a teaching. Oh God. Kobu taught something about the fathers of old. Let me tell you how mad that man was. He went round a tour, him and his friend, right? They went to, maybe, they would say, this is the pulpit that maybe Alexander the way used. And he will carry a handkerchief and clean it. Lord, there is an anointing on it. And he took it and threw it inside anointing oil. They went to the grave of William Branham. They said when they got to the grave, two of them fell on the floor. Under the anointing. Met the people who buried him did not fall. But many years, a man came with a hunger. And an anointing from the bones of that general. The man who saw squirrels rise up, form, and enter the wilderness like Elisha. They fell and he said, what will I do now? He caught the grass close to the side of the grave. And he dumped it inside the anointing oil. It's not witchcraft, it's hunger. Separate witchcraft from hunger. Separate human worship. Did all kinds of concoction on the anointing oil. My eyes was on that anointing oil all through the pastor's conference. They said it's time for lunch. I said, lunch? Am I a fool? I leave Nigeria and come here to eat lunch. I sat down. I was, I was, I was hungry. And then they put the pictures of all the generals on the altar for people to come and pray on. When I came, I didn't choose one. I just laid down on all of them. Not just one person. People were just picking one and looking at it and crying. There was no room for that. I laid down and I said, Lord, every impartation from this man, whatever made them living wonders, I rolled on the pictures. I did everything. Hallelujah. And when I did that, Kobus gave me a gift. Every time he's under an anointing, a very heavy anointing, he would lay his hands on a material and then they would print that material and he gave me the gift of one of those materials and one day he looked at me he said was it Andrew Murray or who was that now no Lester Sumro laid hands on him and Smith Wigglesworth laid hands on Lester Sumro and he looked at me, he said, come, I want to connect you to the lineage of the generals. And he laid his hands on me. I carried that experience. I said, I'm done with South Africa. Thank you, Jesus. I'm on my way back. When I came, I prayed it out. And let me tell you, I knew. I knew. I saw two ladies who were sitting in front of us, just joking and making noise. It wasn't up to 15 minutes. Two of them were under the anointing. I said, thank you, Jesus. We, we, we need to focus. Hallelujah. I'll never forget that time. Pastor Chris called those of us who were from the north. I was a member of Christ's embassy, but I joined. I said, let me see who will stop me. See, many of you are not hungry for the mysteries of the kingdom. I'm challenging you tonight. I'm not just entertaining you. And I stood there. People were looking at his suit. I was looking. See, Elijah said, if you can see me, you need a level of focus. Church is not where you just come and look at decoration. Look at it before and after the service. During the service, your spirit, just like some of you, as you're sitting here, there, there's something in your spirit. You're saying, oh Lord, I know that if I focus, I will get something. Hallelujah. Reinhard Bonke. I told you about the stories of Reinhard Bonke. I saw miracles in that man's life. And I followed him to Joss. 
stood for six hours standing close to a pregnant woman who will lean on me occasionally i said madam we are all standing we are all standing but i understood that issue but i told myself if my legs will break my legs were shaking at a point i'm not exaggerating but i looked at renard bonke he had finished preaching simple preaching like many of you will say he's boring no rema let your pride kill you there and don't humble yourself no rema i need somebody who will explode me ah, i said lord even if he's just laughing i'm at i'm still there i'm attentive for the first time i saw the visible manifestation of the holy spirit renard bonke finished taking the water hallelujah and when it was time to pray for the baptism of the holy ghost he said he would take water the moment he would take water there were probably hundreds of thousands of people there for the first time i saw a bed that would be bigger than this auditorium a large bed white bed and there were silvery silvery substances coming down it was just hovering around ah, was i dreaming goodness what is this nobody else was seeing it and i saw it was moving around ah so this is the mystery behind the impartation that Reinhard Bonke can pray for hundreds of thousands of people and they will receive the baptism at once. Not to lay hands one by one, no. To pray for people. When I saw it, I knew something came upon me. Listen, let me tell you. I was focusing on that experience. By the time the bed disappeared, I was back in the stage. I didn't even know when I had turned. I was so focused. Only God knows when I turned. Hallelujah. I saw people crying, being emotional. I had no time for all those things. I, see, when you see me listening to a man that I honor, I can slap you if you, are, if, you are, if you are disturbing me. I sit with all my heart. When Maurice Orulo came to Dunamis, I saw a lot of pastors who have no business with Dunamis. They came and humbled themselves. I said, may God bless you. This is wisdom. Hallelujah. The guy was just talking. You know how boring he preaches. I said, Lord, uh, this thing looks boring, but goodness, I won't be a fool. I'm listening. When you come for koinonia, I may be joking now like some of you are just looking and laughing. But graces, there are distributions of graces going. Some of you will just get up and leave and find out that some things have suddenly become possible. Whereas there are others. I know Joshua Selman is my personal friend. I know this guy. I know my man. I even know the worship team. Is he not Sam? Abba. Sam. Sam. the And you'll be talking all this nonsense. And they are carrying the mysteries of the kingdom. Let me teach you. Learn a lesson from today. It's not human worship. But don't fool yourself. All men are not equal. They are equal in Christ. But grace has separated men into cadres. And if you recognize this. It's not human worship. It positions you to receive and then you too will rise and begin to bless others hallelujah i remember when i was going to minister in akma miss church when i got to the church people were clapping everybody was pointing this is joshua selman when i got there i got down on both of my knees publicly in the presence of everybody and i greeted the man he doesn't know me i got down on my knees and i greeted him and i got up and i sat back I will never see a man of God that is ahead of me that I know and not honor this man deeply from my heart. Hallelujah. I was tired of making foolish decisions and I looked at Mike Mudok. People used to criticize him and say he's a seed, seed man. I said, call him whatever you want to call him. I streamed life for hours listening to him. The day I had a dream, I pursued Oyedeko. I pursued Oedeko till he visited me in my dream. Hallelujah. Till he visited me in my dream. What are you pursuing? What is worth your time? What is it that is worth your refusing to embarrass yourself? When Oedeko knelt down for Adeboye to lay hands on him, ushers quickly ran. He turned, he said, you, you think I came here to play? He said, I'm kneeling down to get something tangible you are just moved by emotions hallelujah 
Sinaj came into Koza last week. I was in my room streaming and praying in tongues. Honoring that woman of God. I said, Lord, we want our worship team to carry that kind of presence. So we will not cast. We, I, I said, if I cannot sow a seed or do anything to her, let me pay the price with my internet. And I was praying in tongues. My, the earphone was there. I was just praying. I said, Lord, on behalf of our worship team, Are you desperate to catch the mysteries of the kingdom? Are you desperate? Hallelujah. Elijah followed Elijah. Elijah said, Mr. Man, go. He said, no way. Kill me. Many of you don't have the guts and the desperation it takes. That's why I'm telling you that the anointing of the spirit is not just dash that falls. There is a hunger. I carried a seed here from Zaria and I went to Canaan land to go and look for God's servant. And we got there, I dropped the seed and I knew I left that place with a tangible anointing. Hallelujah. Johnson Suleiman was speaking and he said he went to a hotel room where they told him Benny Hinn had stayed there. He said Benny Hinn stayed here. He said how long? They said about three weeks ago. He locked himself. He started praying. He rolled on the bed. He said, I'm sure he used the toilet. He went to the toilet. Sat. No, no, no. You, you see people walking and you don't know what they do. I cried when Charles and Francis Hunter, many of you know them. The healing evangelist died. Because I was already making plans to go to the US. What was my plan? My plan was to go and beg them that I want to scrub their toilets for two weeks. I wasn't going for title. I was hungry. In one meeting, brothers and sisters, they raised 100 wheelchairs. 100 wheelchairs. Don't tell me that is trial and error. They did it laughing. Hallelujah. When I started the preparation, they died. I cried like a baby. And then I played their, their VCD. I said, oh Lord, you see my heart. And you see that I truly intended to get this anointing. I know where I'm going and I know that what I have is great but it's not enough to take me there. So I humble myself and receive. Many of you, God brought you here but week in, week out, you just come and you casually play. When the worship people are ministering, there's no sense of reverence that look, these are oracles of God ministering. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. The first prayer point is repentance for neglecting the custodians of the mysteries of God in the body. There are many people who say, me, it's, it's me and the Holy Spirit alone. Let me tell you, there are certain things, no matter how close you are with the Holy Spirit, He will recommend you to vessels that, he has, that are already carrying it. I know a woman in this nation, if she prays for you, if you are single, if she lays hands on you, your husband is going to come and your wife will come this is not all these prophets people around moving around i know this one by the spirit hallelujah yet there are still people do you know that there are people that one word they will speak to you it will terminate barrenness is that true brothers and sisters how many barren people are still moving around they would rather die and humble themselves there are people today to come and sit down in koinonia and receive they would rather go and get the message and hide somewhere and listen and come out and disregard everybody and they find out that there is a distancing between them and the anointing john followed jesus to the cross he said i must see the end of this mystery it was only john who saw physically the mystery of the death of Jesus and the cross. All the other people ran away. He understood the mystery of the cross. That's why hot oil could not kill him. There was something he saw that the remaining disciples did not see. What do you need to see tonight that will take you out of where you are? Brothers and sisters, all things are available in the spirit. There are some of you, you are in ministry. You have been struggling for years. Someone sent me a text and said, how do you do with this crowd thing? Is it just, I heard of a woman who said, forget about this young man. 
You know, all these young men these days, the things that they do. Every time God wants to use a vessel to bless you, beware. Because Satan will begin to discredit that vessel. So that when he strikes you, your arrogance will not allow you to run for help. But tonight God is giving you wisdom. This is how the kingdom works. When the ass was missing, was Saul, listen, Saul the son of Kish, he was destined for royalty. But when the ass was missing, they didn't waste their time to say, oh, God also speaks to us. Remember, that was what Aaron and Miriam did. They said, Kai, God, Moses cannot be the only one you are speaking to. What nonsense is that? And God said, ah, a cloud came and left Miriam leprous. It was the leprosy that, that Moses was cured of when God was dealing with him. There are custodians of mysteries. Americans have lost it when they stop honoring the vessels that carry this anointing. Balance your grace message so that it does not rob you of stepping into anointings. The Bible says, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. He said, believe his prophets and you shall prosper. There are men who have been granted stewardship. Hallelujah. I'm going to Elorin, I think in two or three weeks. And I'm telling you, those people are so excited in that city. They've been listening to Koinonia messages. Let me tell you something. I met two women in all sincerity. The women told me that they pray and fast every week. What's their prayer? That God should speak to me to come and open Koinonia in Abuja. That's their prayer. They have taken it as a burden upon themselves. Because they believe that God is doing something they want to receive. I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power at work inside of me. I'm tired of the status quo. There's got to be more than this. There's got to be more, got to be more. Help me say, there's got to be more than this. For desperate people do desperate things, and we press in in. There's got to be more, got to be more. There's got to be more than Sam was here when Panam was doing how many years in ministry? Panam was doing 40 years in ministry. After Koinonia, Sam left this and went to Abuja to go and celebrate with him. Many people look at Panam and they feel, ah, this. See, when you see a man with results, even if it is joke, something made it happen. Are you getting what I'm saying? If it was just like that, it would have happened everywhere. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. Something made it happen. There are some of you who are sick in your body. You are carrying all kinds of sicknesses. You've seen the miraculous thing God is doing in this place. But you are not yet interested. There are many of you who are supposed to be walking in acute levels of the anointing. See? with the kind of atmosphere you've been seeing, the, the presence of God that is supposed to find expression in your life should even scare people. But many of you, you come in and you move around. I see people who come from other states and once the service is over, they are looking for every and anything. It's gotta be more, gotta be more. Gotta... Hallelujah. I remember... In 2007, I was in Port Harcourt. I've told you the story. That was when the wealth anointing hit me. I know it entered me. God told me to give everything that I had home and abroad. 
I dragged it and when I went and dropped it, I went back outside. It was an overflow like this. I went outside. I sat down angry. Not angry, but ah, I knew I gave my Isaac. I knew this one was not Ishmael because there was nothing again. My faith was not hanging on anything. And when I sat down, the Lord spoke to me very clearly. He said, son, from today you have entered wealth. That was what the Lord told me. He didn't say you are rich. The Lord told me you have entered wealth. Hallelujah. I will never forget. Four days after, somebody calls me by 6.10 in the morning, shaking under the anointing and saying, is this Joshua Selman? I say, yes, who are you? Who gave me your number? He said, that's not the issue. Please send me your account number. I say, who are you? You know, so that you will not be a 419 person. When an anointing is on your life, it is on your life. It has come. If it's not there, you can fake it. You can say, I know koinonia. I know everything. If it is on your life, it will be evident to everybody. Hmm. He said, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. Tonight we are going to pray. Greatness is what God wants to give us in this season. And let me tell you, if you will pray tonight from the depths of your heart, you will receive something. There are many of you, your ministry will accelerate if that healing anointing comes upon your life. There are many of you, you have prophetic graces. There are many of you, you are, you are totally confused. There's free counseling here. By the grace of God, people criticize me and say, I, I am not accessible. On Mondays, I'm, I'm sitting and meeting people from morning till night. Till night. Anybody, no discrimination. I don't delegate people. I sit down and listen to people and by the wisdom of God, we hear what God has to say. There are people who are sitting. Do you know there are people who live around this neighborhood who have never come for Koinonia? They will just bring chair and sit down outside and enjoy it and say, I know Koinonia more than you. Whereas other people are coming from Kaduna. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are the desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more, Lord. We are desperate people. We want more, more. Hallelujah. Where's Morgan? I think he, he was. He sent me a text about his genotype. There are people who still doubt. They think we are faking it here. Hallelujah. From the day Pastor Jakes, Hallelujah, and his wife to be were healed, their genotypes changed from AS to AA from that day we have seen that miracle again and again there are some of us trusting God but you see that and say is it really true again and again you hear of all kinds of testimonies God blessing people HIV whole families have been healed of HIV with medical proofs I'm not an idiot we are not liars here we don't fake anything if it doesn't happen it did not happen You were with me, Yerima. Where is Yerima? He's not here. Were you in, in Mina? The crusade we had. It was Jodika. Where is he? These guys follow me for my meetings. And they know the things that God did. The PFN people, by the second day of that crusade, look, they lined sick people. There were all kinds of crippled people, deaf and dumb. I've, I've never seen heterogeneous miracles in quantity and quality. I, I knew an anointing came upon me. But there's somebody. You have been coming every week. You are so used to it. Now you are waiting for the meeting to finish. Whereas someone traveled and said, Lord, if you are real, I have left all the way and I've come. If it's to die here, kill me here. And the person will get up and live with an anointing. I met a woman in Abuja. And the woman looked at me. And she said, man of God, your messages that I've not listened to, they are not more than four. I have never seen you, but I've listened to the messages. There are some of you here. 
we, we, we mortgaged the millions and millions of naira that would have made from tape and CD ministry so that nobody will have an excuse not to hear the word of God. I listen to every koinonia message, every. I don't sit down and say, it's Joshua Selman. I listen. When there is a prophecy, I get down on my knees and I open up my heart. I don't want to be the kind of man of God that is blessing others and dying. It must work in my own life. Hallelujah. There are many of you, you are seeing tomorrow Annie is going to get married. How many of you remember when I prophesied at the beginning of the year that the Lord told me there will be supernatural marriages even for people who did not expect? I'm sure many of you heard it and say it's just one of those things. The trouble is that many of us always think that these things are just joke or a way of carrying out a program i wish you knew the spiritual preparations that go through for one koinonia service one koinonia service tonight we are going to pray we are going to contend for this anointing for greatness because it's available anything listen anything that is not working in your life you have not known how to receive it because it is available here and now. Rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. In these few moments, please, I want you to pray. Whatever is this, if your chair is distracting you, pack it up. We are going to enter a, a moment of prophetic prayer. There is something we need to travail and birth in our spirit the goal is not for joshua selman to be one great superstar all of us i believe are custodians of this mystery you can step into levels of glory there are some things that can begin to work in your heart lift up your voice listen hold on the first prayer point is a prayer point of repentance you're going to say lord i repent about talking about any man of god at all i repent i've been the one carrying my big mouth castigating people from today i repent lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray inside and outside lord i repent lord i repent lord i repent i repent in the name of jesus i repent pray koinonia pray i repent oh god I repent for castigating custodians of the mysteries of God. I repent for disregarding men and women that have been trusted to be stewards of the mysteries that produce dominion and authority. Pray, pray, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Don't look at anybody. Those outside, pray. There's enough space for you to pray. Walk around and pray. And say, Lord, from today, I shut my mouth. I shut my mouth. From today, I celebrate what you are doing in the body of Christ. I may not understand it, but I celebrate it. Your breakthrough is in the hands of anointed vessels. They are custodians of the stewards 
of the mysteries of the kingdom they are stewards the anointing has been given to them please pray that's how it works pray hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus shout it in the name of jesus from today i repent i'll never find myself castigating a man of god from today i receive grace to appreciate to celebrate and receive of the grace that they have prayer point number two say lord now i know that there are graces available my life is in need of the ministry of certain graces visit me tonight lift your voice and pray my life oh god is in need of the anointing upon your servants that anointing contaminates terminal disease it can open you up to new realms of power please pray pray some of you are just watching pray everything we are going through there is an anointing that can take you out of it there are stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom whatever you are going through there are anointings that can take you out of it if you can see it if you can celebrate it if you can recognize it you will come out of it hallelujah hallelujah there are many of us listen every relationship you enter is not working it means that there is something you need to have there are great vessels that god has anointed reverend funke felix adejumo dr mrs becky and when have you taken their materials to say lord the anointing on these women he must come and resolve these marital issues you can brag around waste your time and remain unmarried forever or take a step and change your life there are books by kenneth copeland on prosperity there are books by oyedeko there are books by david Ibiome. These are men that carry prosperity mantles. It's obvious. Everybody knows that they carry it. You can argue it, but they carry it. Their programs are free on air. When it's time, your job is to castigate and criticize and compare revelation and condemn the man and say this revelation is too childish. Pray and say, Lord, let me locate the grace that is required to take me to the next level lift your voice and pray show me show me the mystery oh show me the grace Show me over my eyes. Open my eyes. Open 
And the servant of Saul told him, Sheila. He said, Come, let's go to a city. Sheila. For there is a man of God there. Sheila. When we meet him, he will reveal Sheila. to us where this ass is lost. Sheila. And they went. Sheila. They took an offering and they went. And before they came, Samuel had seen them. And he took Saul. Sheila. He said, Is it not because God has anointed you? Hallelujah. Listen, you are going to pray. There are graces and mantles that God has put upon this ministry. You can choose to argue it. But if you believe, you can place a demand with, with, with passion in your heart and say oh lord whatever is working here can't it work in my life can't it work in my life lift your voice and pray Pray. 
and move to the next dimension. Hallelujah. I'm going to mention a few graces and you will pray them into your heart. Hallelujah. See. It's not enough. Listen. It's not enough to know Bible. It doesn't solve your problem. It's not enough to know Bible. Fire, fire. When the spirit of revelation comes upon you you will know not just what bible says but how to activate the principle you are going to pray and say lord let the spirit of revelation fall upon me tonight come on now koinonia this very prayer point i want you to pray with all your heart lift your voice and say in the name of jesus lord open my eyes to see the mystery behind wealth and prosperity pray one more time many of you will be surprised open my eyes so God. show me the mystery what did you show the power that made them command and Oh, <laughs> 
The Bible says in Jeremiah 33 verse 3, it says, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you. Hallelujah. The next prayer point we are going to pray. You are going to say, Lord, separate me for influence. Listen, you will never be able to legislate. See, I see a lot of people. How many of you have seen people go to places and they want to show that I am the boss? When a mantle for influence is on you, you can go to a place and hide and they will still come and pick you out. It's an anointing. You don't try to claim it and say you didn't give me a seat. It said because thou hast lovest righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore, God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above, oh, above, oh, lift your voice and say, Hallelujah. This meeting is called Koinonia. Every time men look at your life, there is a presence you must carry. You must carry the manifest presence of God. Otherwise, we are faking it. We are not talking of power. We are not talking of people falling down. We are talking of a, you introduce an atmosphere, a presence that everyone around you, whether at work, in class, at home, when you are seated, there is a presence. Everyone comes around you and they know that there is a presence upon your life. 
You are going to pray. Say, oh God. The mystery that governs the revelation of your presence. Release it upon my life. Your presence. I'm tired of struggling. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. There is the yoke destroying burden removing anointing in this place. Oh yes, there is. Absolutely. The yoke destroying burden removing anointing that you can take and command all kinds of deliverances you step into a place and chains are broken no matter how hardened that spirit is Listen. hallelujah you are going to pray and say lord the power to break chains and smash the gates of hell. Oh, May it jump upon me right now. Lift your voice and pray. Power For your people. Hallelujah. Lastly, before I pray for you, one of the biggest secrets of my life is my passion for God. It's not just love for him. There is an addiction for God that if you do not have, you will never enter certain realms of glory. There is an addiction. Everywhere I go, I carry this like a cancer. There is an addiction. Many of you are going to pray and say, Lord, give me an addiction addiction for you an addiction for the kingdom let me love you with my life let nothing be too great that i cannot give you let nothing be too great let me love you with my life Oh, 
Hallelujah. Listen. When you get to this level, you will see the glory of God. You will see the hand of God. His hand will rest upon you. And then you will become a living wonder. It's like you are, it's like oil is dripping. That's the realm that says, Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. Oh. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, everybody, and receive something that will take you to a new level of greatness. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe, I believe, Lord, I believe, Lord, I believe. Sing it one more time. The Bible says, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you from the depths of my heart. An anointing will mark you tonight. Lift your hands, everyone. Father, this is not the work of a man. This is not the desire for a man. I am nothing without you. But my God, if you have anointed me, I pray that upon everybody in this place, literally everybody, this mark that you showed me in the spirit for greatness, my God, I pray that as I count three, may it come, at least let everybody be touched. One, two, Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Outside. Take it now. Take it now. Mark for greatness. Mark for greatness. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it. Take it. Take it. It's yours. I release an anointing. It comes to your life altering your destiny for good I prophesy greatness 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 I prophesy from the realm of the spirit from the realm of the heaven I prophesy upon your life. Be great. 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 Be
great. Be great. Be great. Rise to a new level. Rise to a new dimension. Spiritually. Rise to a new dimension. Financially. Rise to a new dimension. Societally. Rise to a new dimension. Maritally. Rise to a new dimension. Health wise. Rise to a new dimension. This is holy ground. I cause every infirmity in anyone's body, Lord, in response to this healing mantle. Confirm your word one more time. If there is a miracle mantle upon this ministry, right now, every sick body be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. I cause HIV. I cause cancer. I cause tuberculosis. I cause blindness. I cause lameness. Every blood disease, I curse you now. Every genotype that is SS, we change it to AA now. We change it to AA now. Anyone been molested in dreams by any satanic devil? In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command the fire of God, the fire of God, upon every devil right now, right now, every devil, let them go now. I agree with you tonight. Whatever has limited you, you have done your best. You know you need a miracle. You have done all you need to know. And you know if God does not step in, you can't move further than this. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, just like Aaron and Hor lifted the hands of Moses, I command May those limitations give way now. I don't care what they are. I don't care what they are. If there is a God in heaven, I command those limitations disappear now. Disappear now. Marital limitations disappear now. Financial limitation disappear now. Academic limitation. Academic limitation. Bow now. Bow now. Lift your hands. I want to prophesy over your exam. Some of you need the hand of God. Your assessments are nothing to write home about. Cheer up. There is a supernatural dimension to this realm. Oh, she it's, it's not all about your faculty. Believe it. It's not all about your department. Listen. Every lecturer was a baby in the hand of one woman. Yes. No man born of a woman has what it takes to victimize you. Lift your hands. Father, I pray that beginning from Monday, let there be strange academic visitation. Strange academic visitation. Strange academic visitation. Beginning from Monday, 
let there be strange, strange. academic visitation let it appear as makeup tests oh. let it appear as assignment Shut up. let it appear Shut as missing scripts yes. breakthrough in your academics Water. in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who have any challenge at faculty level at senate level at departmental level especially for those of you who are having an extra year or an extra semester we graduate you in this place now we graduate you in this place now we graduate you in this place now by the power of the highest i command it by the spirit of prophecy we graduate you in this place now hallelujah as you study for your exams may my god open your eyes to see what others may not see in the name of jesus as you study where you are confused may my god come in and show you where to study in the name of jesus you will see your questions in dreams i prophesy it you will see some of them in visions God will lead you to pass questions Amen. that carry the same question. Amen. Every spirit that comes upon certain people during exams is when it's during exams you fall sick or you black out or your exam card is missing. All such manifestations we stop them now amen we stop them now in the name of the lord jesus let me preach to everyone here that marriage is the will of god are you hearing me marriage is what absolutely the devil knows what marriage can do if marriage did not affect satan he will not fight it are you getting my point sister the devil knows why he's fighting to make sure your husband does not come but this night this night the bible says at a prophetic word bones that never saw each other for a long time started relocating till they came there is a husband for you don't let statistics deceive you whether it is 10 men 10 women to one man is none of your business are you hearing what I'm saying? The Bible says you shall not call what they call conspiracy. Conspiracy. He said when men shall say there is a casting down. What is your testimony? There is a lifting up. Many ladies are afraid now. To an extent that people are just becoming desperate. They say do you know there are no husbands? Who told you? Who told you? Who told you there are no husbands? My God will locate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to address issues. It's a miracle service. It's not a healing service. Miracles are more than healing. There are many of us here. We are not sick. But our family needs divine intervention quick. Financially and otherwise. There are many of us. Everybody in your family is a graduate. But nobody is working. Everywhere you go they drive you. Some of us even went abroad. You went abroad. You came back. And you are looking as if you never went to school. That devil must bow this night. Hallelujah. And for those of us who have been told by the doctors. That nothing can be done about your situation. I bring you good news. There is a way out. Soon as I yes. One day I feed you can soon I Soon as I yes, one day I feel you can soon I soon as I yes, one day I feel you can soon I yes, soon as I yes, one day I feel you can soon I for some of us is academic bondage. 
people keep mocking you, they think you are lazy. You are reading all you can read. You are doing everything. But there are horns that have vowed that you will not arise. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are horns that, you are, that have vowed that as far as admission is concerned, you won't get it. Or as far as this is concerned, they mark scripts. When it's time to mark your own, they forget it. Come on now. Don't tell me that's a coincidence. When you know the realm of the spirit, you know things do not just happen. Hallelujah. A lecturer just looks at you and vows to punish you in that department. What did you do? I just hate you. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is that? That's a spirit speaking through that person. Hallelujah. And there are people here who have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. At least I know that I got two text messages by some people. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And he opened the womb of Rachel. God can open wombs. I don't care what they say is there. How many of you have seen a bulldozer trying to throw something down? Whatever stands it away, it clears it. Whether it's called fibroid, whether it clears it away. This is the God I serve. Hallelujah. Some of us have been giving all kinds of reports. And they've said you may never be able to have a child. Even if they remove your womb, you will give birth. Hallelujah. Mary said, be it unto me according to your word. Her stomach started growing. Be it unto me. When Joseph saw her stomach growing, he said, I will divorce you. I have no business with what is happening. And the angel said, what are you saying? Keep this woman for that which is in her. How it entered the word of God. He says, through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. Shortly we will rise up and pray for five minutes. And that prayer is aimed at steering anger in you. To say, Lord, I'm not going to go back the same. Hallelujah. You know, many of us hear words like this. But the impetus to make it our word, that's what we lack. So you can rejoice over other people. Hallelujah. You must get angry and say, Lord, as you're visiting men this night, I'm holding on to you like the woman with the issue of blood. Let people call me unclean. No problem. That's why I'm here. Are you getting my point? You must get angry. Especially for those, there are so many people you could not get seats. You can't just be standing outside. And then at the end of it, you just go back and say i didn't get seat say lord as a reward for this standing the devil must bow hallelujah jesus wants his glory to be revealed and let me tell you something all things are possible say it after me all things are possible the bible says jesus healed them all it didn't say he healed some he didn't say he healed the, the ones that could be resolved. Then the ones that have gotten so bad he could not do anything. The Bible says he healed them all. That means he delivered them all. Hallelujah. And some of us here are standing in for our family members. You know that we care about family here. We are convinced in this place that if your family does not experience what you call salvation your Christianity is not yet complete. He said, as for me and what? He didn't say as for me and myself. As for me and my house. It's not enough for you to receive breakthrough. When there are people in your house who have not experienced that, they must be opened to this reality of the revelation of the power of God. Isaiah 61. Arise, shine. Isaiah 61. Let's see what the Spirit of the Lord came to do. The glory of the Lord is risen upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord, 
the master, the owner of the universe has anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He had sent me to do what? Bind up the brokenhearted. He had sent me to proclaim what? Liberty. That means those who have been tied by ancestral causes and yokes and they have said nobody will cross this boundary. You are the one who will cross it for the first time and tell your family members the door has been opened. Everybody can now freely pass without bowing down to a dagon, without bowing down to a deity. There are some of us, as you are sitting down right now, our parents are putting pressure on us. Come home or come to the village. Let them go and bath you with whatever. Let me tell you, Africa has not forgotten where they are coming from. They are still practicing it. It's just that we are practicing part traditional religion and then on Sunday we are doing religious Christianity. Some people cannot just rise. It's called limitation. You know what limitation is? You don't remain there. You will move up. But it's like there is a mark that has been placed over your family. Nobody rises there. You see a man rising, doing well. He can get a job. One day, he will come back. Those deities are proving to you we are alive. But tonight, somebody, Kabali Kabarosataya, somebody will walk out and for the first time you will break those barriers and say people in my house just get children without getting married because of frustration when they are 55 years and no man is coming they say okay just get pregnant at least let's have children and you will say you are the one who will break that and you will usher in your children and everybody there are those who say they have vowed that your degree will remain a piece of paper. You have gotten degree, you have gotten masters, but there is nothing around your life like that. Everywhere, a man will vow a pastor and say, bring me your CV. When you are about to visit that man, someone will come in your dream and now molest you. You get up the next day to go and the man will say, I cannot remember telling you this. Ah, yeah. There's an army rising up there's an army rising now there's an army rising up men and women anointed to break every chain break every chain Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There are some of us, you are the first person in your family to enter university or even to complete it. And the devil has vowed, he said it has never happened, and all hell is breaking loose. They say, frustrate her, frustrate him, frustrate them. Mande kabata tabalata sekele bosata. Who are these horns? Who are these horns that fly above the lives of people to jeopardize their prophetic destiny? Come on, pray, pray. Tonight is a night of judgment. Tonight is a night of justice. Get angry. Tonight, I will break limits where my father did not enter. I will enter by the power of the Holy Ghost. Everywhere pray inside and outside. Begin to pray. I break limits. Satan, enough is enough. Hey! 
outside. Come on, get angry inside and outside for your destiny. Hallelujah. Look up. Please listen. 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 There are some of us, what is plaguing your family is the cause of hardship. Nobody ever finds anything easy in your family. You are born again. You pray in tongues. But until you have suffered to a point where even when God wants to bless you, you don't want to receive because you are used to suffering. Everybody must walk like an elephant for everything. Some of our parents are working three jobs, five jobs, just to be able to raise 10 or 20,000 naira. It's a cost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I beg you in the name of the Lord. Please listen to me. I beg you in the name of the Lord. I want you to get angry tonight. One of the things that we must all break, the Lord was ministering this to me, is this thing called limitation. Many of us don't know what limitation is. You know what limitation is? A mark has been drawn. And they say nobody can cross this mark. There are many families that are suffering this. For years, my father was working. The people that he was part of interviewing them to get the job became his superiors because there was a barricade. Are you getting what I'm saying? If you don't believe it, I don't know how to help you this night. Because there are many people who just say, is it, is it real? Look at your life. You have been claiming, oh, I'm free. But you are seeing trends happening in your family. Come on now. There is something to break this night. There is something to break this night. There is certainly something to break. hallelujah hallelujah look up there are some of us what must leave your family this night is the plague of death some after two two years or three three years or by september or a particular month somebody must die or be paralyzed or be sick patterns of wickedness When these limitations are broken, let me tell you, you will find yourself finally. You will see that doors will now be open. And do you know what? Listen, every time you force a door to open in the spirit, you bring others into that experience. Listen, hear this. Do you know there are many of us here? Our parents have gone for meetings to try to break some of these things. It's just that where they went, they did not sustain the kind of anointing and spiritual intelligence it takes to break. So our parents tried and it didn't work. And God said, you, you are the one that has been chosen. Go, go for the family. Go for the family. Many of our family members have gone to all kinds of prophets. They have collected their money, plundered them, did everything. Nothing to show for it. We hear the chains falling.
Tonight, the waters will be stirred. And I tell you, when the waters is stirred, these powers that have put a barricade and said no man will rise maritally, financially, academically, if you have been carrying an inherited disease, don't say it's like that in our family. This night, you must begin to contend. I can't remain SS simply because everyone is like that. I can't remain AS because everybody is like that. I can't have eye problem because everybody has it. Get angry. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them in. Say na 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 Hallelujah. The angels of the Lord are in this place. It's time for miracles. It's time for that sickness to leave your body. All those outside, please lift your hands. Just those outside. Hallelujah. There are so many angels outside. Listen, there will be such a move of power and of the spirit outside. Hallelujah. At the count of three, you will shout Jesus. That fire, devils will begin to cry and jump out. Just those outside. Are you ready now? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your power to heal, to deliver, to set free. Thank you for the confirmation of your word. Right now, in the name of Jesus, those outside. One, two, three. Shake the book of those. Just those outside The power of God is falling I command devils Come out Come out Come out I command powers Demon spirits I command them now by the fire of the Holy Ghost outside the angels of God are moving everywhere outside the power of God is shaking every demonic hole acts of witchcraft yokes curses those outside lift your hands again lift your hands I just want you to focus on the screen those of you outside in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ I will count three and you will shout that name Jesus again no power will hide right now one two three go 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 hey! come out come out of them devils yokes bondages 
foundations at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus as you shout that name Jesus no instruments at the count of three no instruments just shout that name Jesus and the power of God will begin to deliver people inside here are you ready now one two three Sheketekete, rekotopos, embrebekete, lekoto soparia. The fire of God is coming down right now, mightily. Shekete, mekoto sota, teke priaskaba, sombre tekete. Sekete, bring them out. Sheketekete, kaprekete lebosa, embrekete. Please help the ushers if they need more help. Sheparekata, mambre botso protos, ekrete legos. Shekete de 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 de. Sheproto sopaka, ma prateko sopai, embreto stipali ala ba 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 ba. Shekete ba 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 ba. Sheproto sopreke de ba la ba ba. Hallelujah. This role, lift your hands. The angel of the Lord is standing in this role. I pray right now, every activity of witchcraft, according to what the Lord is showing me, those in this role, right now, in the name of Jesus, I want you to shout, Jesus, right now. One, two, go. Let it be shaken, oh God. Now, 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 now. Let the fire break chains. I command every force of darkness. Go, go, go. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. Be exposed. Come out right now. Come out right now. Shepakata, 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 Shepak
There are still many people outside. Please, outside, lift your hands. No devil will escape tonight. Outside. At the top of your voice, after the count of three, many of you will feel fire as if it's just poured on you. My God, let no spirit, let no spirit remain right now. One, two, three. All those that have come out Those in front here As a point of contact To those who are there by the blood, I bring a separation. I bring a separation by the blood now. Now, now, now. I bring a separation by the blood. The mystery of 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 the blood. mystery of the blood. Bring the lady. Bring her here. Rosagata <laughs> Pompale, Pompale, Soriato, Akata, Braki, Patapata, Suatebria, 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 Hallelujah. The God that we serve is not a dead God. The God that we serve 
is a lie. He can change your life. The God that I serve is a living God. Bring the living God. Bring her. Bring the living God. Bring the living God. For the light shines in the darkness. Let her go now. You know my voice. Out. Now, leave her. Out. Never return again. Now, all the devils here. At the count of three, your exit comes. You hear my so voice. I speak to you from the realm of the spirit. So One, two. So go, 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 go. Out, shoot. Out, break out. Out. You must go by the power of the Holy Ghost. Go, go, go. go. Be free. I set you free. Shaka, <laughs> Let her go now. Leave this little girl. Out, devil of darkness. Out. Come out of her now. Come out of her. Come out. 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 Marital delay. Give me a hands. Oh, With a loud shout, out you go. Now. Lay your hands on this girl. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Out. I see you in the spirit. Go. Out of her. Now. Go now. Let her go now. You are a wicked spirit. Take over. Out. Posha. Come out now. Posha. In the name of Jesus Christ. The serpent and spirit. Your time is over. Go. 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 Listen, some of you are not out here. But there are things that are already parting ways with you. Are you getting my point? I want to rebuke delay. Many of you do not know the danger of delay. If you are not experiencing any delay, no problem. But I'm just flowing as the Spirit of God. Where is your sister? 
bring her. Sister, where are you? Please come and stand here. Your breakthrough has come. Marital delay, it will die now at once. Hold my hands. Look at me. Just look at me. All right, then. You will leave her never ever to return to her again by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, I challenge you. Something will leave you right now. I'm seeing you tied in the spirit. Marital delay. Go! Never to return. Lay your hands on your stomach. They will never say you have a fibroid. I cross that spirit. It's a family thing. Hold her. This is a family thing. May they be free, O oh God. Bring salvation to this family right now. Now! In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I tell you, the devil hates this prayer. Because if he can get you to experience delay, you will give up on your faith. There are many of you, there are levels you would have entered right now. Bring this lady. Yes, come with her. Just clear the way for them. Let me just touch her head. Well done, ushers. Let her be free. Let her go. Together with the delay. Zigo Panada Garanda Shia Kataga do Siza Lagataga Branda Sina Barando Jigli. Listen, lift your hands, everybody. Outside, lift your hands. I'm about to challenge the spirit of delay. Sakataya Mandeka Sete Lamantaria. You can move forward because something is tying you down right now. In the name that is above every other name, every delay in this place, at the count of three, I command the devils, be gone right now. One, two, three, go, 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 go. I cause delay. I cause delay. I cause delay. Every kind of pain. Every kind of delay. Where is the woman? I, where is the woman I spoke about? One my mother was here. How are you, madam? You, you came alone? Where are they? Come, come. Who are those that came with mommy? Bring this woman here. Sorry, just take it easy so they don't. Tonight is a night of breakthrough. Where's the daughter? to see back at I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. God is going to visit you. This is witchcraft. Eh? Madam, this is witchcraft. I'm not going to go into lo any long story, but I need to pray for you. You believe that? This is your daughter? Yes, sir. How are you, my dear? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. I'm seeing you tied. Kai, this is... This is acute witchcraft. Where are you from? From Edu. 
At those stage. Yes, sir. Hold my hands. And I always find my spirit in the village. Ah, uh -uh, now hold on. Why are you? I want to. It's just that I didn't want to talk to you. See, let me tell you something. Huh? The Lord is ministering to me, and I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine. Are you listening to me? I'm seeing something that looks like a shrine in your village. When you sleep in the night, they call your spirit. Is that true? Yes, sir. Just if I'm lying, just yes, say I'm sir. lying. Yes, sir. When you sleep, where do you see yourself? I when? find myself in the village. You find yourself in the village. Yes. This is what I'm seeing. They are invoking her spirit. This is what that that witch doctor tried to do to the spirit of Saul. You see that in the Bible. These people are necromancers. You will be free tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I pray for you? He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Light is shining. Madam, look at me. In the darkness. Can you shout? If I ask you to shout, can you shout? I want you to shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Go ahead. Let her go now. Let her go now. Out. An end comes. I command breakthrough. Let this family change. Don't cry. Can I pray for you? Father, let this lady experience breakthrough. This is part of the Eh? Is you are the one that brought her? Celebrate this lady, please. You see why it's a blessing, madam. You feel pain at used to feel pain at your back. Eh? You came here sick. Look at you came here sick now. Come and walk. Let me see where the sickness is now. Don't worry. Come up. Just come up. Check yourself. Check. Do what you couldn't do. Check whether the pain is there. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. I was already healed. Yes. You were what? I was already healed. You were already healed. They have been calling me to come for this program. I couldn't come. Even when I was in the shop, my daughter said, Mommy, come. I kept a seat for you. When you enter, the Holy Spirit said, That is the man that will deliver you. I gave my life to Christ 20 years ago. But there's battle. I always complain. Why am I seeing my spirit in the village? And anything will touch me with my husband, there's nothing. I went to, even when you are preaching, you say some people will go to some church to go and receive miracle. I went to, the last one I went to, I weep. I gave money, I cooked to this woman. He says it's a prophet. You cook for the prophetess? Who cook? And after I left the place, after I left the place, he just damaged my image. He was just saying different things about me. And I'm not like that. And God did it for me today. I'm here. Give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. You are the one that brought her. Are you her daughter? No, she's my neighbor. She's your neighbor. What do you want God to do for you? I just want to get admission. That's all. Admission? Yes. Where? Into university. Have you written jam? No, no. You are writing next week. Yes. Hold my hands. My God. In the name that is above all names. We give you admission in this place now. The God who is bigger than any registrar, bigger than any senate, you will come back and stand right here and testify. You have it in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, no power will stop you. I use this as a point of contact to everyone who is going to be writing jam whether for you or for your loved ones i tell you the truth and i lie not see listen prophecy every power 
that says you will not be admitted in the name that is above all names. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. Receive your admission. I provoke it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive your admission. Well, listen, whether you know what you are writing or not, may my God hold your hands. That hand, the Lord, Menech, Menech, who says it, if I be a servant of God, may my God hold your hand. Listen. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy. Prophecy is not just about speaking. It creates the scene for your breakthrough to happen. Zigo paradia sacranda baliketi supalutikana. Likoto pradia saganda ria tagada baya. Parada shia makrundi siza ma paradia ta. Zigo shila. Give me her hands. She was coming to fight me. No. Shila. All right, you must leave. No, don't put it in. Hold on. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus, the Christ. Out! You are a wicked spirit. By the power of the blood. Go now! Don't waste our time here. Now! Thank you, Jesus. Be thou and throne on high and throne Help me worship us. Be thou and We're going to visit the issue of marriage right now. Please, I want you to listen. I'm just flowing as the Holy Ghost is giving me grace. Sister, look at me. Just look at my eyes. You must release her right now. It's time for you to go. Out you go. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I set you free. Let it leave you now. Let it leave you now. Please, whether it's for yourself or for your loved ones, I want you to stand and agree right now. I'm about to command that spirit that causes late marriage. Please take it very serious. This is a miracle service. Don't say it doesn't concern you. 
and all I want you to do is just to shout Amen. All the spirits that come to molest you and molest your loved ones and cause them not to get married in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that name that is above every other name in the name that is above all names I pray right now by the power of the Holy Ghost please get said something mighty will happen in this place now every spirit that says there will not be marriage by the sword of Elohim right now as you shout Jesus they will depart from you now one two go every marital delay go 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 let marriage spirit us back out in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you may your life partner come into your life I prophesy I call for your life partner supernatural marriage hallelujah hallelujah a lady has been healed of chest condition outside check yourself and run out here check it looks like ulcer you just feel something leave you please check and run quickly quickly come and let God seal your miracle the Lord just minister to me please check check hallelujah I'm about to pray for the sick right now every infirmity bows to the name of Jesus God has killed a lady a lady is that the lady another one come come you've been healed when God speaks to one he speaks to many look at just one prophetic word give them the mic is he working what happened to you just tell us quickly okay, I just felt a pain leave my chest. you felt something leave you yeah. do what you couldn't do before I felt pain in my chest. completely hold my hands never returns in the name of Jesus Christ let her go forever come what happened to you now I have been having this burning pain here. You've been having burning I pain. How not, long? For I've how long? I've been on drugs for over two weeks now. You've been on drugs? Yes. Uh -huh. Drugs even in, is even in my bag right now. The drugs is, you go and yes. bring it. Talk to her. What happened? Please tell us. A sharp pain left me. A sharp pain right now just disappeared. Come on. Are you celebrating Jesus? Look at the drugs. These are the drugs you take. In the name that is above all names, hold the drugs. Just hold it. Hold it. Look at me. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, you are perfecting her. She will not need these drugs again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Check yourself. God is healing more people with this kind of pain. If it's happening to you, come out right now. Come out. God is healing people. All stars. All stars are going right now. Okay, she's been healed. God bless you. It's perfected in Jesus' name. Talk to me. I've been having this pain of chest. Please make sure you don't tell lies. For the past two years now. For the I've past two years now. I've been two years. This chest pain. Chest pain. Yes, sir. Anytime okay. Anytime I try to breathe, it will hold. It will when hold you try me. to breathe, it will hold you. To hook me. Uh huh. Sometimes I will be crying, praying. My mom said that it is over, but I've been going to hospital to collect drugs. But I told my mom I couldn't, I can't take any drugs again. But I believe that God will heal me one day, one time. What happened right now? When you said that we should check, and when you prayed, I felt that I felt that something is out of me, and now I'm healed. Breathe, do breathe in deep. Any pain? No, Any sir. pain? No, sir. Just keep breathing. The power of God is coming on you. Lord, let that be the end of it. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Jesus. Perfection in the name of Jesus Christ. Come. All right. I've been having this chest pain for over two years and six months. Two years, six, six months. months. Yes. Pain. If I breathe in, it just pain. Okay, breathe in now. Breathe in right now. What happened to you right now? It's free. Complete pain. Hold my hands. Lord, it never returns to him again in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this um, peptic ulcer since 2006. Since 2006? Yes. And recently... Peptic ulcer. Yes. You are sure? Confirmed? Yes. Okay. And last week, the thing started coming back again and the pain was so severe. At times, it doesn't allow me to sleep at night. But as we were outside and we shouted Jesus, I felt... You felt something. Yes, that so wicked said, thing that has sat there, it must pack his load and leave this night. I felt Hold my hands. I use this as a point of contact to every area of your body. That whatever has not been planted by my God lives your life forever. If you have problem in your eyes, God is going to heal all kinds of eye problems right now. Lay your hands there, please. I want to pray. Lay your hands. Please believe. Thank you, Jesus. When I pray for you, check yourself. And if you see a miracle, run out here. Even if you see that it has started, please don't tell lies. We are not playing gimmicks here. Some of you think it's an eye problem. But it's a demonic thing. I'm about to command it to leave you. Thank you, Jesus. Even itching in the eyes will leave. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I command. Eyes be healed. Be healed. Now, be healed. Be healed. Every blind eye open. Every blind eye open. Partial blindness be gone. In the name of Jesus, long-sightedness, short-sightedness, glaucoma, every eye condition, be healed now. Please be checking yourselves. Check yourselves. God is doing miracles now. Check yourselves. If you have any growth in your body, please check yourself. As you see God touching you, come out. You, I tell you, God is healing people. If there is any growth, in any part of your body what's wrong with him eye problem bring him god is healing people look at look at a miracle look at a big miracle look at look at this look at this look at what is happening to these people look at eyes are opening come on give jesus praise eyes are opening receive your miracle receive your miracle every kind of eye condition Hallelujah. We'll take the testimony. Check yourself. Don't let the devil stop you. What's, his, what's the problem with him? Look at this. He can't. Eh? Praise the Lord. No, 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 no. There's no time for that. What is wrong with him? There's... I can see. Completely. Yes. Who brought him here? His mom. We came together. With... Mama? Okay, I'm going to pray for him. As I pray for him, keep testing him. When he can see you, just try him out. The Lord will heal him. Lay your hands on your... No, no, let, let him lay his hands on you. Lay your hands by yourself on your eyes. I command new eyes by the power of the Christ. How long has this been? Does she speak English? One year, two months. One year, two months. Yeah. What happened to him? Uh, it was glaucoma. It's glaucoma. So we went to the hospital and the doctor told me that he could cure me, that he go meet any man of God to heal me. That he cannot help you. Yeah, so I'm from Zankwa in Zankwa Kata local government. So I had you, this You came program. all the way from Zankwa? Yes, sir. Oh my God. Jesus, heal these eyes. Glaucoma, I command you to be gone. Bow to the name of Jesus bow to the name of Jesus I command his eyes to open right now open right now please check him test him see, test him test him just test him if you've seen anything can you say don't be afraid this is a factory just test him sister stand up what is it eh? you saw light what are you seeing oh my god look at how this guy's eyes is so damaged 
Huh? Can you see anything? I can't see. Look the at the only thing I saw was the light I saw and it went. You saw off. light? Yeah, when you just finished praying. Father, so I just opened my eye, then it went off again. Okay, just keep looking at me. Please don't give up. Alright? Get him a seat. Just keep looking at me. What happened to you? I saw a sharp light in my eye. You saw a sharp light. You see the same light again. Yes, a sharp light. You've been in using my, glasses. I've been using glasses over two and a Who half Who knows years her? Now. Who knows her? Ah, okay. You all. Know. Who is your roommate? Roommate, where are you? Come now, roommate. When we say roommate, where are you? You come out. You know her, so that you don't come out. You see, you know why we are doing this? Because of the stupidity around the body of Christ. Some people now can think that this is stage managed. Are you getting what I'm saying? That's why we are calling the roommate. Do you know me? Eh? No, what I mean is, do I have a personal relationship with you? What happened now? Tell us the truth. I saw a sharp light in my eyes. A sharp I, light. I, I fell down. And then you fell under yes. the anointing. For, for two and a half years, I can't concentrate for long. I can't read for more than one hour. Tears will just start falling off my eyes. Each until is, you use glasses. Yes, until Give I us use something glasses. to read. Something tiny. Bible. Where are those small, small Bibles? Read Isaiah 60 verse 1 and 2. I'm holding your glasses. Arise and shine, for the light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Come on, give Jesus praise. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. This boy, okay. Father, How are you? Father. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's hear the boy. Who brought him? I come alone. Alone. Yes, okay. Sir. He's old enough to respond now for himself. Is that true? Okay, what happened to you? As Please make sure we verify this. As I was praying from outside. Okay. Something entered me. So as as I fell down and I come here. Now I, I, I can't feel anything again. You then can't later, somebody hold me. Before I know, something started began working on my stomach. Something started working in your stomach. Yes, How sir. do you feel now? Was he blind? What was wrong? I Please feel check. better. You feel better. Yes, you were sir. sick. What was wrong with you? I was having stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yes, sir. Lay your hands. It must be perfected right now. Lay, hold me with one hand. You will see something moving, and that will be the end of it. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Who brought this small boy? I brought myself. You brought eh? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Ha! Ah. Could you speak English when you were his age? What's your name? My name is Victor. Your name is what? Victor. Victor. You mean they allow little children to come on their own like this? Is he lives around or he took transport? No, I came with my parents. Oh, you came with your parents? Yes. Oh, beautiful. What was wrong with you? My eyes was itching me. Your eyes used to eat you? Yes. And then what happened? But now I can't feel it again. You can't feel it again? Yes. To the shame of the devil. <laughs> Father, let this be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ. Who else? Who else, please? Only eye conditions. Okay. First God. I had these itchy eyes and it's always bringing out tears. The doctor recommended glasses, but I didn't go back to the doctor because okay. I didn't want to use them. But there, something hit my stomach and my eyes. Where? When I was standing over When you were standing there. Who saw her? Is that true? Okay. Yes, sir. So I and it's gone. Back. Yes. Praise the Lord to the shame of the devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is perfected never to return again. From the beginning of this month, I've been having this... I don't know, every time I read, I skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know why. And it started from January. You what? I skip the word. Like when I start reading, I just skip the word or I just go blank. I don't know what happens to me. What and you today, go blank? Epileptic yeah, or something? Today I was in class and my, I was, we were reading. My friend was not asking me what's wrong with me. I'm reading the word. I'm mixing the word. I'm like, it started since this year. 
and she's like, okay, I need glasses. I'm like, I don't need glasses. Oh, when you are reading, yes, the, you will be skipping yes, the words. Yes, I'll skip the word. I'll go blank, and I don't know why. What happened to you now? When we we're praying, I laid my hands on my and my hands on my eye, and then a light just just hit me, and my hands touched. Light shaking, again. You see the light. My eyes got very hot, and then your I eyes felt got hot. Open, yes, and you felt it open. open. To the shame of the devil, it will never come back again. Read Isaiah 51, just verse 1 and 2. Let's Hanging see. to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord, look unto the rock whence ye are hen, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. Look unto Abraham your father, and unto Sarah that bear you. For I call him alone, and, and blessed, I blessed him, and, blessed him, and, I and increased him. him. God bless you. It never returns in Jesus' name. You too. Yeah. Come. Okay. It started 2011. Um, I was having a pain in my eyes and an itch. So it's. I feel like um, each time it comes, I feel heaviness in my eyes. You feel heaviness. So in when your I eyes. went to Chica, they told me it's pterygium. That is it's mostly what? pterygium. That is. I'm not supposed to survive. It. That is some. Um, it's prominent among um, old people. So and when I went, they prescribed some medications for me. I went. I went and got right now? So, but while the prayer was going on, I felt that heaviness was relieved from my eyes. It completely. Yeah. You feel any pain now? No. It's gone completely. Yeah. May it be perfected in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Sweetheart, how are you? Yeah. What's your name? Mercy. We have brilliant children in Koinonia. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us smart children. You came on your own? My sister brought Oh, me. your sister brought you. What was wrong with you? Your eye used to eat you. Is he eating you now? What happened? When, when I was praying, I put my eye. You played your hand on your eyes. Uh huh. I, I saw that the thing have gone. Completely. Lord, in the name of Jesus, may it never return. In Jesus' name. All right, the last person. Okay. Sir, my eyes sometimes used to pain me. So, uh, me and my mother we went to sick bay. They said that I needed classes. Okay. But since that day, my mother and I never went. So sometimes I'll, my eye will, will be itching me. I was okay. like start, start feeling sleepy. But now it has gone. But now it has gone completely. Thank you, Jesus. May it never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while the worship team just leads us in a powerful session of worship, I want you to line up all the sick people, especially... If you came here from outside Zaria, please, let's give you priority. Just come out quickly and then the rest join them. Please, you came with a sick person. Now is the time to he to, to, uh, to, for them to receive their healing. Very, very quickly. Please, we have a lot to do. Time is not on our side. Very quickly. Very quickly. Worship team, please help us. Hallelujah. Please bring them out quickly. Sheda katabala da ba 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 ba. Line them up. Very quickly, please help them. Protocol ushers, direct them. Please, let's save time inside and outside. If you are sick, whether you are outside Zaria or not, just come. Please, come out. Now is the time for you to be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power. Those of us who are seated, begin to pray in tongues, please. My Don't be distracted. God is awesome. He can do. That mountain of sickness will be moved right now. Whatever it is. Please keep coming quickly. Come and line, line yourself. As you come, just be praying and say, Lord, this is it. I am parting with this sickness. Hide me from the rain. Say, My God, heals me when I'm broken. Strength where I've been weakened. Forever He will reign. 
my God is awesome. My God is awesome. check yourself begin to check yourself let's pace them very quickly hallelujah as i pray for you please i want you to believe i already sense the healing anointing very strong on my hands and as i pray for you you'll be healed you'll be delivered no matter what it is please don't go back the same you don't have to go back the same you do not have to go back the same no matter what the issue is i want you to know that you are parting with this sickness right now thank you jesus Lord, I give you praise it's in the name of Jesus Christ.
accident look at me since when i think a week ago now you you can't walk the the nurse bandaged my leg then what happened i started i couldn't walk very well again so i removed the bandage why did you remove the bandage because pulse was going out pulse was going out of the leg yes where is it ah goodness look at this look at me brother yes sir look at me He's paining you now. Look at me. Just stretch the leg. Look at me. It's a demon. This is not accident. Thank you, Jesus. Look at everybody is seeing it. I'm happy you're seeing it. Show them, please. Put it on the screen. Now let this leg be healed right now. Right now. In the name of the Christ. Can you see the guy has suddenly become relaxed? This is somebody that could not sit down. Something affected the bone in the accident. I joined this bone back. Now, who is a witness that he really had the accident? Who knows? You saw him limping when he came. Okay. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Something is happening to you. Thank you, Jesus. I fixed this leg right now. Within days, this thing will dry up. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Walk. Walk. Come. Come. Walk. Come, come, walk. Do what you couldn't do. Just do what you couldn't do. Don't, don't, just do what you couldn't do. See, he's surprised. He's short looking at his leg. <laughs> ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Give Jesus praise. Thank you, Jesus. Look at, look at this. Look at what. Hold on. See, the guy, what is happening to you? The leg is drying up. The leg is drying up. Drying you are up. feeling it now. Yes. Everybody clear the way for him. Rush, go and come back. Walk, go and come back. Go down there and come back. Look at this guy could not walk. He had an accident with this leg. Come, walk as fast as you can. Walk as fast as you can. Look at the boy is crying. Look at this. Lift your hands and thank the Lord. No man can do these things except God be with you. This is not for the glory of any man. Lord, we give you praise for that which you are doing in our midst. This leg dries up in the name of Jesus Christ. My God is awesome. He can move mountains, keep me in the valley, hide me from the rain. My God, heals me when I'm broken, strength when I'm in
Injection. It spoils the leg. Which of them? The right. You've never been able to use it. Mm, except with age. Except? With an age. Try to move it. I can move it. Just where is which one? Which of them? Try to move it. Yeah? Just do what I'm telling you to do. Try to stamp it. Without this, eh? Not far. But can you walk without this? Shortly. Very short. Mm. Can you try? Right now? Sure. Do you think you can? Hold my hands. Let's try. Stand up. Look at me. If anybody supports you, if someone supports you, will you be able to walk? If nobody supports you, can you walk? You will fall. Yes. Okay, let's see. Try to walk. Come.
Just please. Hold my hands. That devil of diabetes. It's time for you to leave now. Hypertension. You are a spirit. I command you out of her life and out of her family. Mommy be healed now. Now. Take off everything you have put in her stomach and out you go now. Now! Did you bring your prayer requests? Please start passing them quickly. Look at me. God is healing you right now. The power of God is going through your hands. You're being healed right now. Pass your last, pass the request to the last person at the side. Outside, please do the same thing. Let's save time. Everything you have written on this request will be answered in the name of Jesus. Please pass it, pass it quickly. Heal now. I cause hernia from your dad. In the name of Jesus. Forever you're the same. I come out to give my mind. Let her go now. You lifted me, gave me a song. I come out to give my mind. Pass the request quickly. Totally free. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Beautiful for all. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Quest, you quickly, are quickly. the joy of the That's whole world. You are the great and mighty God. So greatly to be praised. Please ushers quickly, quickly, quickly. If you don't have your request, write you one quickly. You are the joy of the whole world. You are the great and mighty God. Yeah. Whole world. You are the great and mighty 
anyone attending to those outside? Those outside, please. Let's have their request. I hope there's a way of getting the ones on fa on Facebook and all of that. If we can't, we can just reach out to them by faith. Please make sure that you have a prayer request. God answers prayers here. Yeah? Please, everybody, rise if you can. Please, this is a very prophetic moment. Please, we'll start praying. The rest can come and join us. The other one. Pastor, please. Praise God. Listen, please understand that this is not a religion that is done every miracle Sunday. This is done on instruction and this is biblical. The Bible says when Ezekiah was threatened, he took the threat letter before God on the altar and dropped it there. Are you getting my point? These requests have threatened the lives and the families of many of us. That's why we are bringing it before God and we are saying, Lord, if you do not step in, nothing can be done. But I want you to know that within the next five minutes or thereabout, as we begin to prophesy and lay hands on this, the angel of the Lord's presence will go to different families, different places and begin to work miracles. Hallelujah. So all you're going to do is just stretch your hands here and be praying in tongues while the worship team leads us in worship. Just keep worshiping as they pray in tongues. Is that okay? Please go ahead. Shekata ba 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 ba. You do wonders in me. Shekata ba 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 kata ba. Unto you that answers prayer will all flesh come. My God, in the name of Jesus, we trust you. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, and visit your people. Stretch your hands, oh God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands, O God. Lord, let impossible miracles happen. We bring this before the altar. That which threatens the Christian experience of your people. My God, I pray. That every request here be turned into testimonies. Say faithful God. Let there be deliverance, so God. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, 
Sarapraki Jalima Zatala Broki Jilibana Zataya Rika Lujali Krasatata Pata Shitaba The God of all flesh Jarapakata Shilia Lizari Kapatasha We declare Lazata Patasha the one that parted the Red Sea, Raka Pata Shitalaba, Ribi Zuri Brani Nekoto Shitalaba, do the impossible right now, do the impossible, do the impossible, do the impossible. You break upon the Red Sea and you part it into two, do the impossible right now. Behold the request of your people, behold their heart desires, let there, let there be miracles now, intervene now, intervene now, intervene now. In the name of Jesus, we declare way where there seems to be no way right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, as a result of an intervention, let there be influx of testimonies. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That which was impossible with men, oh God, will they will declare that with this request, so God, let, the, let there be possibility right now. In the name of Jesus, miracles, miracles, open doors. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, for your great intervention. Thank you, mighty God, for the great turnaround. Bless the be name forevermore. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. We command that these requests be turned into testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Let there be mighty miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please everyone stand. Everywhere, please stand. I'm about to prophesy into our lives. Lay your hand on our chest. Out now. Release her and go. Now. Hallelujah. And he said to me, prophesy. And I prophesied as I was commanded, not as I wanted. I prophesied as I was commanded. And there was a sound, a rattling sound, and bones began to be joined to bones. And he said unto me, Son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And I prophesied, O wind, breathe upon the slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the slain, and there stood an exceeding great army. I want to prophesy over your life. I want you to shout amen at the top of your voice. Please believe it. Prophecy is creative. Hallelujah. Please play strings. Thank you, Father, because you always hear me when I call. Lord, as I prophesy over your people, let it not be a ritual, I pray. Nothing will happen if your power does not make it happen. Therefore, I pray that the angels that confirm the words of his messengers, may they back this word and bring it to pass. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let this word become your word, O God. Hallelujah. 
hallelujah and Melchizedek blessed Abraham and said blessed be Abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and the prophet said in Samaria by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow the Bible says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established he said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper by a prophet he brought them out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved he says he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward do the impossible do the impossible i'm not singing just concentrate my god would you step in and do the impossible do the impossible change the unchangeable Change the unchangeable, my God. Step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Please lift your hands. In the name that is above all names. The name that causes demons to tremble. The name that causes breakthrough and deliverance. I command right now. Let there be supernatural restoration for everything that you have lost. Restoration now restoration now restoration by the power of the holy ghost receive restoration everything you have lost for whatever reason it was lost i command restoration of opportunities in the name of jesus restoration of destiny help us restoration of the years that the canker worm has eaten now hallelujah every handwriting against your destiny that has said 2014 will be a year of frustration in the name that is above all names be cancelled now 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 in the book of job he says in six things will he deliver you yea in seven things and one of them is the scourging tongues of men when men sit down and make enchantments in the name of the God that I serve every cause every pronouncement over your life because now because now because now, because now. Then the Bradisha la Cabaro Satana Malahatia. For he has broken the gates of brass and he has cut. 
the iron in sunder my god i pray every door that has been closed over your people in the name that is above all names if god be in this place i command those two leaf gates be open now be open now i prophesy be open now by the power of prophecy be open now everyone called jobless in this place in the name that is above every other name Satele kabande kretisa ka ashete te balaka ta prege de balada bagada baga. Is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness? And they brought Mephibosheth, a man who was not qualified, but the favor of God made him to sit at table with David. I pray by the favor of God, wherever you need favor for jobs. I prophesy receive it now receive it now from the north to the south to the east to the west I command jobs every man that has said over his dead body for you to move forward may his prophecy come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ I want to break that power that limits men every limitation every embargo that has been placed over your life that is said thus far have you come I speak from the heavens in the name of Jesus limitations be lifted now be lifted now be lifted now I command break records break records set new records do what has not been done I pray for everyone whose family member is overdue to be promoted the Bible says withhold not good from who him who is due when it is within your power to do so it is within their power to bring the promotion therefore i pray in the name that is above all names we enforce that promotion now we enforce it now everything that has died in your life hear ye the word of the lord come alive now dead relationships come alive now I pray for your academics for he has given me the tongue of the planet that I may know how to speak the word induces into him that is weary he said my tongue is the pen of the right the ready writer my heart has indicted a good matter yea i speak of excellent things daniel was made 10 times better he said i will give you a wisdom and a mouthpiece that your enemies will not be able to resist nor gain say that when you stand before them you shall not think of what to say for in that very hour it will be the spirit of your father speaking I pray everyone call doll I change that testimony now everyone on probation we take you out of it now we take you out of it now everyone on probation we take you out of it now every missing script every injustice done to everyone i command the angel of the lord to go to every department every faculty let justice be done in the name of jesus i 
and everyone that has found that you will not graduate in the name that is above all names we graduate you right here we graduate you right here in the name of jesus christ we graduate you right here that cause of hardship that is upon our families they walk like elephants and eat like ants tonight in the name that is above all names let that cause of hardship be lifted let it be lifted i speak to every job here receive increase i speak to every business here grow i command you to grow i speak to every ministry expand and break levels in the name of jesus christ let the favor of god that can mark you and distinguish you among your peers i prophesy may that mantle of favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus christ may that favor hit you where you are in the name of jesus may that favor hit you where you are may that favor change you may it cause men to bless you hallelujah and i pray may the presence of god go with you everywhere you go everyone struggling with any habit here that is not of god pornography masturbation whatever it is it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ it ends here tonight in the name of jesus christ every dead spiritual life every dead prayer life every dead word study life in the name that is above all names come alive now receive the fire for prayer take it take it take it take it take it take it the fire for prayer take it the spirit of prayer and supplication take it let it come upon you like a tornado in the name of jesus grace to pray grace to study grace to understand hallelujah every hidden gift every hidden talent every ability that can bless you that has refused to arise i pray the bible says the gift of a man makes room i pray every hidden gift that the devil has buried i prophesy let it come alive and bless you now let it come alive and bless you now Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. When I cried. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. One more time. Thank you for lifting. 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 Thank you for lifting my head. Hallelujah. Please remain standing. There are people here tonight who are saying, I'm tired of my life. 
I'm tired of living my life the way I want. I need to surrender my life to a God that is higher and greater than me. Some of you have probably given your heart to the Lord. Please listen. But tonight Jesus is calling. You may have a Christian name. That's not the same as salvation. You may even be a pastor. That's not the same as salvation. Tonight the Lord is calling many of you who have been living your lives your own way to relinquish that hold and surrender it completely. I'm going to make an altar call. Just one to five. I want you to run from outside, from inside. Please run like your life depends on it. You are saying, Lord, I am tired. Take it. Take it. It is yours and I'm giving it back to you. I am tired of living life my own way. I have done my best. I relinquish that whole one. Please rush quickly. Celebrate them as they come. Two. Uh -huh. Just come and as you stand here, just begin to pray. And say, Lord, take over. Take over. That's the song. God bless you. You are saying, Lord, I surrender everything. I've been living my life the way I want. But tonight, I'm in business with you. Four. Please don't let anybody stop you from coming. Don't let the devil say you are too far. Start running from there. Young and old. Join us. If you are coming, please keep running. Don't let the devil stop you. Don't let your friend or your family members stop you. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you for all those coming. Thank you for that bold step. Don't let your friend stop you. Thank you. Our mother is coming. God bless you. God bless you. No matter how old, no matter how young, Jesus is calling you tonight. God is still speaking to you. You are saying, Jesus, take everything, take over. I'm tired of living my life my own way. I give to you. hallelujah i salute every one of you for coming don't make this an emotional decision mean it from the depths of your heart no matter what you have done wrong no matter how you've lived your life i want you to know that there is a fountain that flows from emmanuel's veins and that fountain flows to bless you it flows to wash you it flows to cleanse you lift your right hand and say this from the depths of your heart Please, you're not reciting a poem. This is between you and the Lord Jesus tonight. Hallelujah. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I come before you. Unable to help myself. I ask you to help me. Cleanse me. Wash me. With your precious blood. I truly repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive eternal life into my spirit from today. No backsliding. Some of you, as you are praying this, I tell you, the power of the devil will be broken. All of the chains. You're going to say, Satan, I denounce you right now. Take your hands and live my life. I declare that I'm saved. I'm a child of God. The Lord will use me to do mighty things for his glory. I cut away from wrong associations and everything that takes your place in my life. From today, I'm sold out and totally surrendered. Now keep your hands lifted. Father, bless these ones. You have brought them, use them mightily. Let the power of sin be broken in their lives. Let the power of the grave be broken. Let the power of the flesh be broken. Anoint them and use them mightily, O God. Let this not be an emotional decision. Let this be a genuine decision. In the name of Jesus. Make mighty men out of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Congratulations. I want you to look at me. 
I congratulate you for this great decision. Everyone here made this decision at one point. Now I'd like you to just follow our ushers. There's a wonderful sister waving her hand. I want you to just follow them. They'll have, they'll give you some information and they'll meet with you tomorrow. God bless you. Please follow them. Follow them very quickly, please. All those worshipping with us for the first time, if this is your first time here at Koinonia, we love you. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly and let us pray and speak a word of blessing. God bless you. If this is your first time, wherever you are, just run and come. There is a special blessing for you. Don't wait for your neighbor. You are the first person. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Thank you. Thank you for coming. We celebrate you. We honor you. We thank you. Keep coming. Don't stop. We have a prayer for you and we have a blessing. And all those who took the pain to invite anybody here, may God invite all the blessings you need in your life. I'm very serious. I'm not just saying it. If anyone came here as a result of your invitation, I pray that my God will invite every good thing and every good person into your life in Jesus' name. Thank you for coming. This is Koinonia. We love you. We bless you. I believe you are blessed tonight. You will never be the same in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy upon their lives, Koinonia. Bless them. We speak the blessings of the heavens upon your life. We bless you with the blessings of the house. We bless you with prosperity. We bless you with hunger for the things of the spirit. We bless you with wisdom and revelation and understanding. We bless you with grace. We bless you with the power of the Holy Spirit. May you experience the life of God in a new dimension. May God plant a hunger for spiritual things in you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for coming. We love you. We're always here Fridays. And I assure you that your life will never be the same. Please, you follow the ushers. They'll have your details. They'll welcome you more on our behalf. And you'll be back to your seat. God bless you. Thank you very much. Celebrate them, Koinonia. Thank you for... Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.